Welcome back. Mosby Northeast MP Labi Amayu has responded to public criticisms over pictures of his face on every vehicle that is purchased through public funds by his administration. He says the pictures of his face on vehicles are to remind the people of where public funds are being spent and their leader in parliament. Bradley Gregory with this report. Everyone loves a selfie. It's a term dubbed by the new generation of social media users as a picture taken by oneself to post online. But never mind the internet for now, at least one member of parliament is making use of his picture on the vehicles purchased from his DSIP funds. It's been criticized and deemed wrong. This he justifies. A Muslim member can be follow me or car or buy me, you plus a look into another. Huh? Or by me giving Mary Blow or Piggy Blow or the sidekick, you plus a look into another. Man is a good way, you plus a way to another. This is the face here, Kellan and Mouse Gracia, and people are not this body, Mazena, me put it on. Mr. Amayu's face has been put on many of the school vehicles and community vehicles that were purchased from public funds. It's a one step up from the standalone billboards others of his kind have undertaken. The irony, though, is the labeling. Should it be called a donation when it's paid for using public funds, really from taxpayers' money? You must have a party time on man, Mary, only complain of the lobby. Amayu, why you put the face play, you know, this placard? Why you put in this initiative to talk instead of the car or donation to talk about this placard? Suppose you believe that this face, roll him now, put him up that nice the face where God is having never come and making me roll him. Bradley Gregory, NBC National News, Port Mosby. Overseas Catholics around the world are celebrating their newest saint. Mother Teresa's canonization attracted about 120,000 people to the Vatican and among them were a number of Australians who say the prayerful mass was an experience of a lifetime. In a sun-filled St Peter's Square, pilgrims from across the globe gathered to honour an icon of the Catholic Church. Mother Teresa is more famous than many modern popes and the crowd burst into applause the moment she was made a saint. Near the subcontinental slums of Calcutta, where the Albanian-born nun toiled, her followers rejoiced. We are very happy, we are blessed uh, with this canonization because we know Mother is in heaven. While those who made the journey to the Holy See waved flags and prayed for the world's poor. Supporters of Mother Teresa began pushing for her to become a saint almost immediately following her death 19 years ago. And for many of the pilgrims here today, this service is the experience of a lifetime. A number of Australians were flying the flag among the enormous crowd. We knew Mother Teresa, we've met her, we've worked with her nuns in India, so that's the main reason why we're here. Some were slightly overwhelmed by the emotion of the papal mass. I wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, I planned it. But all sing the praises of the church's newest saint. They say Mother Teresa changed the world for the better. NBC National News continues after the break. Stay with us.